Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Oh, um, I'm out doing some cloud photography. The clouds have been great the last couple of days, and I went out yesterday and I wanted to shoot a roll of Orwo, uh, a German motion picture film. I'll talk about that later. Uh, I wanted to go out and shoot that, and uh, the clouds were so great, I just went out all, all around the sort of countrysides and uh, around sea, a little bit of seascapey as well. And I come back with some really fantastic images. I'll show you a little bit of that video, and I'll show you the images that I came back from. They're only scanned at the moment. I've not got in the dark room. But today I woke up, and the clouds were just as glorious again. So I thought, do you know what? I'm going to come out and try some long exposure stuff. At the moment, I'm looking at a windmill. You've seen that before if you're... Uh, an old time subscriber. If you're new, you probably haven't because people don't go down that far, do they, in the, in the videos. But uh, there's a windmill there, the clouds are great. I've got a polarizing filter on and also a red filter as well. I didn't have any filters yesterday. So I'll show you that video I was doing yesterday. I'll show you the scans and then we'll get back and show you what I'm doing today. what I was up to yesterday you can see the clouds were great and the images that I came back with were great as well only scans but I come back with some fantastic negatives that I can work with in the darkroom a little bit later on so I got up this morning and I thought I'm going to do some long exposure stuff I've had uh, people in the past when I've done long exposures say when I've only used a red filter they've, they're banging on saying get a polarizer out get, try a polarizer and a red filter as well so bloody hell why not so that's what I'm going to do
So overall, I quite enjoyed that shoot. It's been quite a while since I've done long exposure or been out and shot sort of cloud photography. And uh, the first day I was using the Nikon F90X and a roll of Orwo film. If you're not familiar with Orwo film, um, I've used it uh, not great deal in the past, but I quite like that film. It's a fine grain film. It's a motion picture film from Germany. So I'll put some information in the description of this video if you're interested in, in that Orwo film. It's pretty hard to come by, but you can find it out there, uh, usually in bulks of uh, 100 foot or 100 100 foot yeah so you can bulk load your own your own cassettes 35 mil cassettes and then the second shoot i went out um i thought i'd try out some long exposures on the clouds so i took my chin on a ce5 camera a little 50 mil lens and a red filter and a polarizer filter as well i was shooting the Roly RPX 25 film which is a slow speed film so I knew I was going to start hitting some uh, longer exposures but most of those exposures were kind of like between one and two seconds that you saw uh, you saw me doing so um, and I was bracketing as well you know I'm not I'm not uh, proud to say that I, that, that I don't bracket of course I bracket uh, it's always good to come back with some decent legs rather than you know uh, tempt fate and then come back with nothing at all. And there was no reason for me to run around and try and get different angles of the windmill. I just stayed at that one spot and just waited for the clouds to, to work for me and change as they did. So um, I'll show you some of the prints. These are going to go on my website, guys. If you want to support the channel, uh, support what I'm doing, um, have a look at my website. These are the prints that I'm putting on now. I'm only putting a few up. So once they've gone, they'll be gone. So that's one of the long exposures that I did at Benbridge Lifeboat House, you can see. Uh, the other one you saw me framing as well, um, which is up on the wall in front of me there, or behind me, wherever it is. So that's uh, that one now. This one is a long exposure of the windmill, Benbridge windmill. That's going on my website. And this one as well, which was on the first day, That's uh, that was with the uh, uh, Nikon F90X. That's no long exposures at all. It's just a nice photograph. So that's going up as well. This is Kentmere VC Select paper that I use. So have a look on the website. If you want to support the channel, I'm going to be putting those prints up there. Like I said, once, they're, once they've gone, they've gone. I'm not going to be printing it anymore. And I've got to say thank you to everyone that entered the s -Lab Stay Home competition. We had some fantastic images coming through that myself, Steve O'Neill's, and also Emulsive.org uh, was looking at. And the winner come through um, with a beautiful photograph of a little girl playing a violin near some lovely soft window light. That was from en Enrique Zorzan from Portugal. I hope I haven't butchered your name, mate. And thanks very much to the guys that sponsored the competition. That was Renisa Cameras in Belarus. They're going to be sending uh, Enrique a 35mm pinhole camera. I hope you enjoy that, Enrique. And um, I'll put a link in the description to all the other entries as well that came through. Some fantastic stuff going on now, and it was quite hard to judge. But... Thanks very much for everyone that entered. Anyway, guys, hope you like this video. Uh, don't forget, look at the website for my prints on there if you want to support the channel, and I'll catch you next time.